We all still live in it? That implicit? It's awesome. We're in the movie, John. Let's have a look at lesson five. Right then. <laughs> let's do some applications of implicit. Because implicit just doesn't get any better. So let's do some applications of it. So I've got a curve. Find the coordinates of a point where the curve, where the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. So I'm looking at a line going that way out. So what I'm really looking at is a stationary point. There. Right, so here we go. I'm going to do it slightly different to the completed path because I want to stress two big points. Right, so 2x becomes a 2. It's the right letter, that's fine. X squared Y, using the product rule, will become the first bit is an X squared. Second bit, differentiated, is one lot of EY dx. Then the second bit is Y, and then that's times by 2X. There. Then I've got a minus 2Y dy dx. That's the wrong letter. Is equal to zero. Let's tidy it up a little bit, but I'm going to move the 2 over and the 2xy over. So I've got an x squared dy dx minus a 2y dy dx is equal to a minus 2 minus 2xy. Now remember what I said about um, taking out the dy by dx as a factor. So you can imagine there's a bracket which has got an x squared minus 2y on it. So my dy by dx will be a minus 2 minus 2xy all over an x squared minus 2y. Now this looks very, very different to what the completed pack does. But I want to stress this point now. Right, so let's have a think about a stationary point. So if it's parallel to the x-axis. And let's have a think about also if it's parallel to the y-axis. So I've got one line which is going across and one line which is going up. At the most basic level, it's just a gradient. So if it's parallel to the x-axis, it has no change going up, but it has some form of change going across. If it's parallel to the y-axis, it has, has plenty of change going up, but it has no change. I've got dy by the x there. Uh, changing y. I've got that. No, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So if it's uh, parallel to the y-axis, it has plenty of change going up, but no change going across. So what I can do, I can be a bit sneaky. If I want it like a stationary point, I would just put the top line equal to zero. So if I want it just like a, a parallel to the x-axis, I'd have the top line equal to zero. So minus 2 minus 2xy is equal to 0. But if I wanted it parallel to the y-axis, I put the bottom line equal to 0. And this is a little bit more than what's actually in your pack. But it comes up in the equation, in the questions. And it caught us out one day because we've not been doing that. We've just been doing, stick the top line equal to 0. So you can kind of find it from either way. Now I want parallel to the x-axis. So I'm going with... The first one. So I've got parallel to the x-axis. It's a stationary point, so I'm thinking that the dy by dx is equal to zero. Um, so I'm looking at the minus two minus two xy equal to zero. Rearrange it. Uh, minus two is two xy. Um, now I'm kind of used to seeing stuff as y equals, so I'm going to have minus 1 over x is y. Now this is my slight issue, is I've got more than one variable. Do you remember me which we on about multivariable? I've got more than one variable. 
So what I need to do now is go and sub back into the original equation. So I've got 2x plus x squared multiplied by y. So that's going to be now multiplied by minus 1 over x. So I'm doing this to the equation here. And then I've got a minus y squared. is equal to zero. There. So if I so look at the do if I tidy this up, I've got a two x, that's going to give me a minus x, that's going to be minus minus minus, minus one over x squared is zero. So the x minus one over x squared is zero. Let's do it up here. So if I take the x one over x squared over I've got x is 1 over x squared. If I take the x squared up, I've got x cubed is 1. So x is 1, not plus or minus 1. So that gives me x is 1. Now I want to find, so I want the coordinate, I want to sub it back in. Now I've got a choice. I could use the original big equation, or I could use this sneaky equation which I've just made. So I'm going to use that because it's easier. So I'm going to use y equals minus 1 over x, because I want the coordinates. So that must mean then that y is minus 1. So my coordinates for the stationary point are 1 comma minus 1. So it's quite a lot there. So we differentiate it, rearrange it, divide it, decide if I want the top or the bottom line, and then when I've got to this bit, I have to sub it back into the original equation. Uh, now this is a proper exam question. Um, you've got choices. You can either expand it or you can use chain rule. So I'm going to use the chain rule. And I'm going to do it silently. Have a go. Pause it and see if it looks the same. So that's just doing the chain rule on that. Expand the brackets. I'm going to pause it while I expand the brackets. I've just expanded that first bracket. Three lots of it, and then minus dy by dx lots of it. What I'm going to do now is, because that's a minus, I'm going to take that whole bit over there for pause again. So I've taken the bracket over the dy by dx. Once again, I'm going to imagine that if I take the dy by dx out as a factor, everything else is in a bracket at the front, which can be divided through. Pause again. Stationary when the top line is equal to zero, got that. And then do some rearranging. Got the equation. So now I want to sub the y into there, which is quite messy. I'm going to pause it again so that time. Sneakily now, the 3x cancels with the 3x and the 2 cancels with the 2. I get 0 squared. This is e to the 3x minus 2 minus 1. So then 1 is e. So 3x minus 2, take logs, log of 1 is 3x minus 2, the log of 1 is 0, take the 2 over, divide by the 3, gives me an x value of 3, I haven't got much time left, I sub the x back into the, uh, either the original equation or the 3x minus 2 is y, we'll do that gives coordinates of 2 thirds comma 0. Can you see? So I could either sub the 2 thirds into the big equation or into the one that I made, the 3x minus 2 as well. Is that it? Is there more? Oh, it's going to be more. There's always more. Right, stop. Let's have another go then. Let's start with. 